In this video, I'm gonna expose three real estate training lies that you believe. Welcome back to another video. My name is Ricky Carruth. If this is your first time seeing me, I'm a 16 year full time real estate agent, and for the past year, I've been giving away all of my real estate secrets for free on YouTube. So click subscribe and hit the bell so you can get notified every Tuesday and Thursday when I post new videos. Every week, I'm bringing you the deep strategies of how I made a million dollars last year in GCI as a single agent in Alabama. If there's a certain subject or question that you have that you want me to make a video of, just post it in the comments below, and I'll be glad to put it together for you. Today I'm going to cover some of the real estate training lies that most agents believe and the reason I wanted to do this video is because I literally want to reduce the failure rate in the real estate industry by spreading the message of real estate's truths. And just as a disclaimer, I want to say that everything in real estate works. All avenues work. It just depends on what works for you and at the end of the day, it's all about relationships over transactions. So you have to find that special avenue of business that works for you to create create and maintain the relationships that you need to grow your business. The first lie that most agents believe about real estate training is that the only way to get listings is to call for sale by owners and expireds and handle objections. This is not the only way to get listings. I focus my entire business around circle prospecting or farming, picking out a subdivision or a complex and targeting those owners with direct mail and phone calls and approaching them in a low pressure approach and creating that lifelong relationship forever. You can get my entire circle prospecting game plan in the link below. The second lie that most real estate agents believe that I'm hearing a lot lately is that cold calling and direct mail is dead. This is something that I feel is absolutely not true. Now what I do think is dead is the high pressure cold call. I think that the high pressure cold call is dead. The low pressure cold call is still very much alive. I believe this. I believe that conversation is the key to all closings, period. There has to be a real conversation in place for there to be even a chance for a transaction. So I don't care where you get your leads from. If you get online leads for sale by owners, expire, circle prospecting, door knocking, et cetera, et cetera, you're going to have to develop a list of these prospects and you're going to have to call them and follow up or cold call call them to create and or maintain the relationship. There has to be the voice to voice at some point for there to be a chance of a transaction. And if you're not calling, then another agent is going to get that deal. Someone who is calling. The only way to exponentially grow your business is over the phone. If you want to see exponential growth, make phone calls all day, every day and see what happens. Yeah, you're going to have some people hang up on you. Yeah, you're going to have some bad calls, but most of your calls are going to be great conversations that lead to all kinds of business. I'm going to do a video next week on overcoming your fear of cold calling. And as far as direct mail goes, I think this is something that is still very relevant and becoming more and more relevant as time goes on. As more agents start to pour money into digital marketing, it's leaving the door wide open for agents that want to do direct mail marketing. And especially if you handwrite the letter and handwrite the envelope, they are going to open it. That is a moment that you have their attention. What are you going to do with it? And the third lie about real estate training that most agents believe is that it matters what company you go with. Yes, brand does matter to a certain point, but really in real estate, the brand is more you than anything. I don't think it matters what company you go with in the beginning of your career. Everything is going to be a learning stage at that point. You need to go with a company who you feel like is going to teach you the most, get in there and get your feet wet. And then after a year or two of being in the business, now you can step back and take a breath of fresh air and decide who you want to go with. What brand do you want to align yourself? with long term. At the end of the day, it's going to be about you, not necessarily your brand and how you interact and create and maintain those relationships. It doesn't matter where you work. It just matters how you work. So thanks for watching. I hope you got something out of this and I really hope that I'm helping change your mindset and motivating you to be that number one agent in your area, that top producer that you want to be. If you guys haven't watched the video of me making 84 live cold calls, check that video out and be sure to check out my free training in the description below. Click subscribe and hit the bell and we'll talk to you soon.